Why was there a man with my face underneath Kay's armor? It didn't make sense. After I'd seen him, I was injected with tubocurarine, and that was the end of that. But wait, if the person in the pod was the same person I'd seen on the floor of the warehouse, who was wearing Kay's armor? You finally noticed. So it's not the same person in the suit as when we ripped the mask off then? Didn't I tell you? You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. No. Oh my god, you're... Akane? Yes, I am. Akane Kurashiki. What? Akane was in the suit for the whole time? Yeah, sorry for the ads, ads there. I do I don't really like what, having to run them, but it stops the ads for when people, well, first time viewers come into the channel, so It's, it's you, June, I, I mean, Akane, from, but you're old. <laughs> Those are as June. Yes, that's correct. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time, Clover. Nope. Or you, Junpei. J Junpei? <laughs> Akane. Yep, we worked that one out. Long time no see. I could barely hear what they were saying. My mind was still reeling. It felt like all the air had been knocked out of me. And it was all, all I could do to not collapse right on, right then and there. When? How long? Do you remember when the two of you saved me in the warehouse? Once you saved me, you went back to your future. Well, your minds did at least. I carried your bodies to the third AB room and then took Dio's to the fifth. <laughs> yeah, completely wrinkle free. After that, I went into the first room and borrowed Kay's armor. So by the time you and Clover came out, you'd already... Yes. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. Dio killed you. And then Luna took your body to the sixth room. You couldn't have been in Kay's armor. Sigma, that was a different timeline. This timeline, she wasn't found dead. No, it was me. In this timeline, at least. Yeah, Kay's a bit sad story. Grows up in a facility. Never knowing any other people. Including his dad. When a lady comes to help with his with his dad's research she kind of starts acting like a mum to him but that doesn't last long only for four years before he finds out that she plans to commit suicide in a way for the sake of the research which was I'm believing is her leaving First and Dio killing her was the suicide. In this one, I wasn't murdered by Dio. You two saved me. It's just like Schrodinger's cat. Your actions in the future 
decided who would be inside the armor in the past. What? No, that's nuts. All right, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved. What happens then? Who's wearing the armor? <laughs> Yell at toasters. <laughs> yeah. That's quite simple. The man in front of you. Him? That's correct. Whenever I'm not in the armor, he is. What about the memory loss? For my part, I confess that I lied. He, on the other hand, was telling the truth. Large doses of soporil can cause memory loss. Oh. I gave him a rather large dose. Damn. That really does suck for Kay. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. Of course it comes down to, G <laughs> to Sigma last. Hey, come on. What are you guys saying? Right here. Same face. Huh? Huh? Are you all right, Mr. Sigma? Did you hit your head or something? This is what I was kind of thinking. We did actually grow old. We weren't in cold freeze. So we did grow old. Making us older, but we don't realize we're older. And... K is our cloned son. No, they... They might be keeping... Dio drugged up? I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, forget that he is left and forget about being a Myrmidon and all that. That would be nice, but I doubt it. Huh? What? It didn't make any sense. Why didn't they recognize me? Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. What does that mean? Don't you get it? You've jumped to the future. From 45 years ago. I looked around frantically. A pond. I ran to it and threw myself down onto my knees. Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. My heart was hammering inside my chest. A cold sweat trickled down my spine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, damn it. I struggled to take deep breaths. Then slowly, slowly, I peered into the pond, looking for my reflection. Yep. What? No, this can't be real. This face. It's your face, Dr. Sigma Climb. Although, to the you that's behind it now, it's your face 45 years from now. What the? That's the first time we've heard a last name for him. Yes, very much so. That does explain a lot, doesn't it, Sigma? And doesn't it, Gammy? I don't know why I just called you Sigma. <laughs> oh. Zero. The mastermind of the AB project is you. 
so basically we didn't jump forward as such he sent his mind back which forced the young sigma's mind to jump forward to replace the old sigma's mind for the period and they used that time to train up the young sigma's mind to remember what happens in the jumps What? No, that's not possible. That's... No, it's the truth. Fighting it isn't going to do you any good. Please, Doctor. I'm not a doctor. You will be. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Greatest Outcast, welcome in. Yeah, pretty much. He spent this whole game not realizing there was me metal stuck to his face. A pioneer in the field of genetic engineering. And he very much acted very ignorant and stupid a lot of the game. That's true, he didn't even know how, that he had robot arms and had no idea how he got them. But if he's the young Sigma in the old Sigma's body, that would ex explain how he didn't know he had robot arms. You're lying. No, I'm not. Yeah, he thought he was 22 years old and still in college. You created him. Well, I suppose I should say you are going to create him. Create? His name is Kyle Klein. Your cloned son. Your clone. Yep. That is why he looks just like a younger version of yourself. 23 years ago, in the biolab here in Rhizome 9, you created Kyle. Well, I suppose for you, that's still in the future. When I said I was born and <laughs> raised here, I was still pretending to be him. She does. She does call you grandpa right at the start. Which makes it even more disturbing when Clover tries, kind of acts flirty to us to get her way. Yes, Alice does say that. You've guess you've been working on it for a while, huh? True, she does say that as well. The gravity here is only one sixth of Earth's. They do. They don't actually say you're an old man. They never actually straight out say, but you're old. You're not a teenager, well, you're not a young person, you're an old man. They never say that. Whenever it comes up, it's almost in a mocking type of way. In a way that it could almost be taken as joking.
true. Where we kind of just shrug that off, don't we? If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. Which is why he's in the suit. But you prepared for that. <laughs> she would be right, yeah. I don't remember ever popping the balloon in the director's office. You gave him that armor. I specifically remember trying to pop the balloon a few times. But I don't believe I did pop it. I did try. I I tried several times to pop the balloon. We left the room. Then Kay came back to the room to get the photo of Akane. No, not Kay. Tamiyuji came back to the room to get the photo of Akane. While we go back to the warehouse. They take a while to get back. So I decide to go looking for them. I get back to the director's office. And see the hologram of Zero Senior. And by then, the balloon is popped. I never noticed that they drop everything on the ground. Yeah, I don't think I ever sat in the chair and clicked on the balloon. I tried holding several different items that were sharp to pop the balloon. Ever since he was born, he's lived inside of it. It kept his muscles and bones strong. He wasn't forced into it for the nonary game. He's been wearing it every day all his life. That would be a pretty terrible life, to live in an iron suit. Ah. Damn, I wish I got that. But, why would I, why would future me create a clone? He was to be your spare. If something happened to you before the project began, he would take your place. I remember... Several times during that escape room, going through trying everything in my inventory on the balloon, trying to pop it. I couldn't get that at all. I mentioned before that the AB projects A and B stood for after and before. That isn't all they mean, though. The A also means anima, and the B means body. But the AB rooms 
stood for Ambidex rooms, didn't they? Anima is another word for the soul or the consciousness. Body is, well, exactly what it says on the tin. The past consciousness will go into the future body, and the future consciousness will go into the past body. Yep. They switch. Yep, that's what I was thinking. The future body, meaning the Sigma from this time, went into the consciousness, was well, switched with the consciousness in the past body, meaning because the future consciousness moved to the younger body, the younger consciousness was forced to move into the older body. Yeah, AB means a lot of things, very much true. Ally betray, ambidex, anima, anima body, after before, yep. That was the chief goal of the project. Wait, so the future person, future person goes into the past person? Sigma, do you remember the note you found in the garden? You mean this, right? Yes. yes. I do remember it, and it didn't really make any sense. Ah, of course, it was you who investigated the garden in this timeline. And we had no idea that this place was called Rhizone 9 at the time. Yeah. Sigma, take a good look at this. It's an illustration of the time jumps your consciousness is making. Nevada test site. Does that mean Sigma was at the test site as well before we were here? A is where everything began. Down there. December 25th, 2028. The day we were kidnapped. You inhaled the white smoke in your car and lost consciousness. Yep. From there, you jumped to B. Okay. So it was at the moment of the smoke that we swapped consciousness. January 25th, 2074. You woke up in one of the A-B rooms in Rhizome 9. Yeah. But then, how did we see the masked man? And where did the smoke come from? If we're here because older Sigma jumped into our memory, whether whether we were actually kidnapped but in the process of being kidnapped we were swapped places so it's actually the older sigma that's participating in whatever the young sigma was kidnapped to par take part in you are in your own body but it is 67 years old your consciousness has jumped 45 years into the future. I believe that may explain why you didn't notice the reduced lunar gravity. The body you woke up in was much older. Normally, you would have noticed that your muscles were much weaker. In this case, however, the lower gravity balanced that out. Moving on, if you continue along this line, what happens next? You reach C, which is January 27th, 2074. How do we meet up again at the end there? 
possibly, depending what happens there. That is today. Ah. That's where we swap back into our own bodies. No. That's where we swapped into these bodies. Why are they joined back together there? Unless that is where we swapped back. And then these are more swaps. I don't know. Whoa. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying it's been two days since we woke up? 36 hours to be exact. Have you already forgotten? You are all infected with radical sex. Oh. So it felt much shorter time than it actually was. The virus slowed your brain down. So yes, 36 hours of real time have passed. But to you, it only seemed like 14 hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> Three hours of plot dump? Pretty much. <laughs> That's a long time without the toilet break, isn't it? Now comes the important part. After this, your consciousness will return to the past. It will re-emerge at point D. <laughs> April 13th, 2029. You will return to your younger body. Oh, that's where we jumped in. That's the moment we're in now. And we're about to jump back into our younger body. Which we will be in... Until the original jump here. where we jump back into our younger body and spent f almost four months in the younger body before jumping back into our current body. Or, I'm guessing, depending what happens there, something could happen that we spend the rest of our life from the younger body and essentially live two lives. Two lifetimes. <laughs> but that's the same day as the reactor explosions. Well, what I'm understanding is... They were training both me and Fi to jump back to the same event in the past. So how is Fi here still young if she's also 45 years in the past? Yeah, it is a bit of a confusing way, but I do understand it now. This is where we were on Christmas Day when we first got gassed. Old Sigma jumped into our young Sigma body there, which caused us to jump into the old Sigma body, which we spent two days in, at which the old Sigma finally jumped back into his own body, forcing us to jump back into our younger body, which had been four months, roughly. 
from there, we lived in the younger body, grew up for the 45 years to this point, at which we jumped into the younger body and forcing the younger us to force move into our body at that time. And then something in this time can change depending whether we go back there or create a new whole line. Well, from everyone else point, else's point of view, it is very disturbing that an old man is trying to hit on young girls. But it makes sense now that everyone knows it's the young Sigma's mind in the older Sigma's body. So f from their perspective, they're looking at an old man hitting on young girls. So yes, it's very disturbing and creepy. Yes.